Productive academics treat their PDF database as a treasure trove for writing their own papers, giving lectures, and learning. The hidden friction in using a PDF is the effort required to find information about the PDF that is scattered across different apps and locations, such as notes, tasks, web pages, emails, and files and folders. With Hookmark, you can copy links to almost anything, including to PDFs in Zotero, and paste them wherever you need them, such as in this note in Obsidian. Click on the link, and it brings you right back to the PDF. Similarly, you can copy a link to another object, such as this Obsidian note, and paste it in the note field of the PDF in Zotero. Click on the link, and it'll take you right back to the note. You can even copy a link to an email or a file and paste it in the Zotero note or wherever you need it. Click on the link and it opens the email. To be clear, what's going on here is when you invoke Hookmark in the context of some resource, such as this PDF in Zotero, the title of the Hookmark window reflects the title of the foreground resource that you've selected and the commands in this action menu in the title bar apply to the foreground resource. So open, copy link, copy as markdown link, they actually apply to this. And when you switch to a different foreground resource, such as this Word document, the title will reflect the new uh, foreground resource. In order to use Hookmark with Zotero, first you have to follow the instructions on this page. Okay, so I tell you to install the Zotero Markdown Translator from GitHub. That's over here. So we scroll down here and it tells you how to install it. Basically, you click on this link here and it tells you to place the file inside the translator's directory in your Zotero data folder. So follow those instructions. Restart Zotero, and in the Zotero preferences, go to the export and set the default output format to Markdown. Bookmark takes linking a lot further by enabling you to bidirectionally link items together. These bidirectional links are called hooks. For instance, when you're writing a paper, you might want to hook your draft to a PDF. Here's how. Select the PDF and invoke Hookmark with Control H. Choose Copy Link or just do Command C. And then in your draft, invoke Hookmark again. And instead of doing Command C, what you're going to do here is you're going to choose the hook to copied link command. That sets up the bidirectional link. So the next time that you invoke Hookmark on this draft, you're going to see a link to the PDF. And if you invoke Hookmark on the PDF in the future, then you will see a link back to the document. Double click on this link or this hook, and you can navigate back to the draft and vice versa. You can repeat this process for all kinds of information. For example, I only focus task this for this paper. So I invoke Hookmark with Control H, select copy link, go back to my draft, invoke Hookmark again, and I'm going to do hook to copied link. As you can see from this draft, I have a link back to the OmniFocus project. And from the OmniFocus project, I have a link back to the hook document. To drive the point home, I'll show you how you can link this document to a Dev and Think note. So here I'm in Dev and Think. I'll bring up Hookmark. So the title bar reflects the Dev and Think item. I'm going to copy a link to this Dev and Think item, go back to my draft, invoke Hookmark again, and then I'm going to do hook to copied link. So you can see what this is related to. So I double click on the link to get back to the Dev and Think note. I'm going to open the Hookmark window yet again, and I'm going to show you that not only do you see what's directly hooked to the current item, but you can also see what's indirectly hooked, and you can also see related information. Now, it's also possible to navigate through this window, so I'm going to click on the draft to which this is hooked, and I'm going to click on this button here. I could have used a forward arrow key, and that navigates into the draft, and I can see the three things that are linked to the draft. This means you can access related information through links rather than searching.
Sotero's note-taking field is okay for very succinct notes about a PDF, but it's not useful for taking longer-form notes. You're better off taking your long-form notes about PDFs in a powerful note-taking tool like Obsidian or Apple Notes. Now, people don't tend to do this because without Hookmark, it's hard to navigate between the PDF and the note. Hookmark solves this problem. With a single keyboard shortcut, Hookmark can instantly create, store, and name a note. I'll illustrate that. So in the context of this PDF in Zotero, bring up Hookmark again with Control H. And at this time, I'm going to use the command hook to new dot dot dot, allowing you to choose Obsidian as the note-taking app. And now we see that Hookmark has created this Obsidian note, has put a link back in Markdown format, back to the original PDF. And if I bring up Hookmark here in the context of this Obsidian note, I see there is indeed a link back to the PDF. And in the context of the PDF, I bring up Hookmark again. This time I see a link to the Obsidian note. So the bidirectional links have been set up. You can make this process a bit faster by changing the default app in which new notes are created. So bring up Hookmark and click on the gear menu and uh, go to your settings, okay? And here, the default note-taking app is listed here. I'm gonna use Apple Notes, for an example, which is down here. And now that means that when I bring up Hookmark, I can do Command-N or use this menu item here. It'll create a new note in the Apple Notes app, whatever the default is. And you can take your notes and you see that this Apple Note is hooked back to the Zotero PDF. You can easily browse all the PDFs that you've linked. Just bring up the Hookmark window, click on the gear icon, and select Search All Bookmarks. Type in Zotero and to narrow it down further, add Select in case you've got other items. This shows me all the PDFs that I've linked. Hookmark enables you to create hookmark files, which are like finder aliases, but they contain a link to anything that you've selected. So here I'm going to bring up hookmark, and I'm going to choose the command make hookmark file, which is down here. Notice that it's created this hookmark file. I'm going to double click on this hookmark file, and what it does is it brings up the, whatever was in the foreground when you issued that command. So here, it's basically containing a link to that Zotero PDF. So I can illustrate that by opening this file in bbedit, my editor of choice. Here you see that it contains a link to the Zotero item. So if you have a project folder for a paper that you're working on, you can basically drag and drop this hookmark file into that project folder. So these entire files are links. We invite you to explore hookmark settings. They're available in the gear menu. So from the gear menu here, you select settings. And then you can see that there's plenty of settings that you can configure to your heart's content. Well, I hope you'll enjoy using Hookmark and Sotero together so that you can search less and directly access the information that's relevant to your current task, keeping you focused. So please download your free 30-day trial of Hookmark and see for yourself.